And I don't know if you've heard this term called stuck in the matrix. People go to me, it's too expensive to get into property now. I heard that when I was investing in 2008, I've heard it 2015, I've heard it recently. It's always too expensive and all I can hear is just excuses. You've got 2.4 million people coming off fixed rates, which are sub two and a half percent, and they're going to be hitting 5.99, seven percent fixed rate. They are basically having their mortgage cost triple overnight you know most people in job roles can be replaced ai is going to revolutionize most of the office jobs quite frankly what can't you do with ai i'll tell you what you can't do you can't welcome back to take a seat i've got a first for you we've got two guests on at the same time and um yeah it's all about breaking rules as we say so already we've recorded a podcast with Andrew Roberts and Ranjan Bhattacharya. So go and check them ones out if you haven't seen them already. But let's have them both together. Welcome, Andrew and Ranjan. Hi, Sean. How's thank it you going? for inviting us, Sean. Yes, thank and you for being here. Hi, Andrew. Fancy meeting you here. I was going to say, bumped into you in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, I'm expecting some dad jokes in this one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> only, only from him. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Tell us what's happening. Um, tell us some exciting news. What's, what's, what's the new year going to be bringing on, guys? Well, I'm really excited because at the moment, although the data is technically saying we're not in recession, we're actually in a recession. Right. And also, you come to our joint event, the BakerStreetPropertyMeet.com, and you see how we're sharing the data and we're telling you what is coming. Well, next year, we expect a wholesale change in the marketplace. Mm. And as a result of that, we've been preparing for that and got something especially for your audience. Okay, okay. Now, I think the um, the important thing is, I mean, there's a lot of statistics stuff going on. And when people talk about the recession, they're talking about an economic recession. But we are, and we are bouncing, um, we're not technically in an economic recession, but we are firmly in a property recession. And that's the market that we are talking about. So what are you guys sort of doing differently? You know, um, before I even say that, like, you know, I've bloody been waiting for a recession to happen since 2020, since the COVID happened. And then we came back and property prices, we, we had that little uh, taxation break. You know, people were overpaying. Now interest rates are, go, you know, are hiking up. I still don't see the, 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 the you know, um, the platforms flooded with all these cheap, cheap, cheap properties. Like, I'm not, I'm not just not seeing it. So I'm thinking, has it just been a blip and we've just got over it? Like, what, what is actually the data saying? The, um, okay, there are two things there. First of all, it's the buyer's market. There are, more, um, there are many, many more sellers which outnumber the number of buyers that are out there. Uh, so vendor psychology changes at that point. Mm. Uh, there aren't tons of buyers chasing your property. Um, and that means also that the, what happens is um, the market opens up a lot. In a boom time, uh, anything that's A1 condition doesn't sell for that much of a premium over something that's shabby. So when it's a buyer's market, you find that gulf opens up as well. Uh, so we are already seeing that happen. If you look at auctions, for example, um, one leading auction company, um, I mean, we've got Andrew Binstock from London uh, Auction House London at this month's Baker Street. Now, if we look at his latest catalogue, he's got over 300 lots. Now, a couple of years ago, uh, they would consider it a good auction if they had 100 lots in the catalogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are obvious signs that things are uh, moving in that direction. I think you've also got to look at the types of lots. And what we're seeing is 30, 40% of lots coming to the auction in a distressed mode. And by that, by order of the administrator is a really great way of seeing that. We're seeing bank repossessions and bank provisions rising rapidly. So again, we're starting to see stock filtering through. You've got 2.4 million people coming off fixed rates which are sub two and a half percent, and they're going to be hitting 5.99, six and a half, seven percent fixed rates. They are basically having their mortgage cost triple overnight. Mm. So this is what's coming. And as a result of that, we can see where the opportunities lie. So we're actually building a program to help landlords who are already in the marketplace and might have taken a fixed rate HMO mortgage and are coming off that and now can't get the same deal. And they're going, 
what now? Where's the market gone? How do we keep going? We're seeing serviced accommodation operators struggling to fill their properties. Mm. We're seeing buy-to-let landlords who've mortgaged to the hilt and they're not passing the stress test so they can't remortgage at the same level. So it's helping people transition from where the market was to where it is now and keep trading and keep growing through that period of time. Mm. This is an interesting, it's going to be a fantastic time because, um, you know, in boom times, I mean, I remember the boom of uh, 2007 and I remember coming home uh, one day and eight o'clock at night, um, turning on primetime TV and on BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four and Channel Five, there were, at eight o'clock, there was some kind of property related TV show know how to make it do a million pounds there have been this sort of stuff it was all on yeah you know, and and in a boom time when the, all the media are talking about it things get very very inflated now this is a time where you are hearing a lot of bad news about people that own rental property and investment property because there's no sugar coating this a bunch of landlords are stuffed those will are likely to be highly geared landlords um, who bought in the recent years, who are coming off fixed rate mortgages and are now in negative monthly cash flow. And also people who are um, who never bought property to set up a business. They just had one or two as a pension. They own them in their own names. Mm -hmm. And because of the Section 24 tax on mortgage interest, which wasn't an issue for many people up until last year when interest rates started going up, um, now those properties are making loss. So those two groups of people are stuffed and the media narrative is focusing on them. Landlords are selling up, everyone's getting out. Everyone. But unless you fit that template, you ain't, ain't stuffed. There's, there's so much opportunity for people who are starting fresh today or are starting which don't fit the stuffed template to get out there and 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 uh, create fantastic income producing assets recessions are the time for creating income producing assets that's what it's about it's not about property it's about income producing assets that buys you um financial freedom it, be, it buys you financial freedom month on month and in f and in six seven years time when boom always follows bust it builds wealth through that capital appreciation mm -hmm. And what you were at the Baker Street property meet last month and an audience member said, what would you invest in in the current moment in time? And the thing is, what you invested in five years ago, if you're still going to keep investing in that, your business is likely to go bust because you're not adapting and moving with the market. Your business model will become old, a bit like certain social media platforms. They spring up, they become uber popular, and then they die off because they didn't follow where the market was. So it's the same in any business. You've got to follow where the market's going. And what we're doing is guiding people away from strategies that used to work mm -hmm. into strategies that do work. And that's where you've got to stay tuned. And one of the things we, we've done, we're both known for our commercial property investment, and we've got a download list for all of the banks that are coming up for sale in the next two years. And we tell you the details of where to get hold of that bank and exactly when it's coming up for sale. So that is a download link that I think we'll share with you, Sean, Brilliant. to basically give to your audience, to basically come and find out more about what we're doing. And it's not all about commercial to residential conversions. We've got 10 different things mm. that are the where you should be doing and what you should be doing next year. Nice. I like that. Could I ask you guys like an out there question? I don't know if you've heard this term called you're stuck in the matrix. I'm not sure I have. It's where like we think everything's all pre-planned out by everybody. So, you know, fashion, like when you, I don't know if you remember, you know, flared trousers, they will come in fashion, it'll go out of fashion and, you know, people will start wearing skinny jeans. And then and it'll then come back. Then, it'll then come you look back. at your dad and you realise it was in fashion <laughs> 20 years ago. There you go. And then you hear songs. <laughs> And you're like, I know that song, but it used to be on a different beat, but the frequency has changed and people listen to these repurposed songs again and again. Things come back. Um, I don't know if you, you've probably heard this, like 
people go to me, it's too expensive to get into property now. <laughs> I heard that when I was investing in 2008, I've heard it 2015, I've heard it recently. It's always too expensive and all I can hear is just excuses, but it's always where you're sort of buying. Can you guys see, because you've been through two recessions already, can you see certain patterns and traits that you can share with us that you can say, this could be yeah. a potential factor. The probabilities are stacked this way, what, what we can see coming. Well, I, I don't wish to sort of say anything negative, but we've actually been through a few more recessions. So I know we don't look that old, but there you go. But the, the top and bottom of it is, in terms of there are cycles and there are things that you can do and you can't do. And if you're doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, you're just doomed for failure. And I see a lot of people say, oh, do this. Doing rent to rent at the moment is quite a dangerous strategy because rents are rising so rapidly and landlords are going, eh, I'm having my property back because I'm not getting enough off yet. And it's not covering my fixed rate when I've come off the fixed rate onto a variable. So th there's all sorts of people hitting the buffers and they've got to adapt and they've got to adapt fast. I think um, one thing we're doing is uh, we are, Andrew and I have come together to um, actually educate people on how to prosper from this recession. Um, educate people in our strategies, but also uh, enable them to do it. And, and if they want it, um, JV with them and uh, invest in those propositions as well. Um, because the, the thing is with property, and here's the, um, the elephant in the room, you know, you if you went to a property networking event at 2015, 2016, uh, and you heard some speakers and they're showing some great slides of some deals, it's a deal they do, did three or four years ago, mm -hmm. and it was in the time uh, in the aftermath of the 2009 recession. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't mean that you can rinse and repeat that and do it today because the conditions aren't the same. Mm -hmm. And today, there's no point looking at a, a deal example that someone did. Um, one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, because those market conditions are not um, the conditions that we are heading into. You know, the, the deal examples uh, in terms of recycling, the deal examples that I'll be pulling out is stuff that I did in 2009, you know, and got all my money out and more um, within 12 months of doing the project. Uh, those are far more relevant to what we are seeing today because exactly that same template is implementable. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't in that position to be able to say, look, we've been through the re we've been through recessions, we've profited in recessions, we know how this is going to play out. Um, we're not just going to do it, we're going to um, uh, uh, take other people along on that journey with us. And if you want to do it yourself, great, but we're happy to partner with you as well to leverage what we've got to make it go further and really make this recession count mm. to be the best one ever. So you, you've basically got to pivot and put your business on steroids at this point because this is the time when you're going to make your maximum money in the next 10 years. It's all going to be made in the next two or three. So you've got to max out on that two or three and that will really springboard you forwards for the next 10 when the next sort of big structural change in a marketplace comes. And this is a massive structural change in a marketplace. COVID has changed the way people shop, the way they work. You know, offices are defunct. Warehouses are in vogue. You've got retail defunct. All of this is surplus and needs repropositioning. But again, the way people are living, we observed during COVID, people didn't want the boxy flat with no outdoor space. So you've got to move with where the market is moving. And that is what we're doing. Mm. So how do I find out more about your program, guys? Well, I think the best thing to do is uh, you can follow us at succeedinproperty.com. Come to the Baker Street Property Meet, which you can find out about at bakerstreetpropertymeet.com and follow us on YouTube. Um, we'll be putting a lot more out there about uh, the special program that we're launching uh, to help people capitalize from the recession. Uh, and that's really what it's about. Now's the time to be building those income producing assets. Mm -hmm. If you don't build income producing assets, quite frankly, you're stuffed. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard, I heard you in a previous podcast um, talk about AI and all the rest of it. Yes. You know, most um, people in job roles um, can be replaced. 
I even saw the other day, I mean, I do, um, you know, YouTube videos, as you know, I saw this, I was just playing around with this little AI, um, little tool that can actually clone you. So yes. it can, uh, and clone your voice. So I give it a script and it will actually look as though it's me talking to a camera. So I don't even have to do that. Uh-huh. You know, so if you're in any, and you know, the industrial revolution is, has mechanized blue collar jobs. AI is going to re- re- revolutionize most of the office jobs, quite frankly. You know, so what can't you do with AI? I'll tell you what you can't do. You can't um, AI or computerize land and property. The AI, the computers, the everything and people have to sit on land and real estate. And real estate, if you own it, produces an income. It's back to that monopoly thing again. You know, so that is one thing that ain't going to be AI'd. So you need to own um, real estate and you need to get it income producing. And the best time to build those assets is is um, now in the recession. I mean, uh, <clears throat> just to... Um, talk a little bit about income producing assets you know income producing assets you know is property is what i know about mm-hmm. you know but um income producing assets is in all fields i mean one of the best examples of in- income producing assets is last christmas by george michael <laughs> you know played in every shopping center w- world over it generates about 30 million pound in royalties every year and still generates that for his estate uh, today um, so, you know, if I could sing, I'd be coming up with a Christmas number one with Andrew and I. That would be the, the uh, best income producing assets. But since we can't sing, we're doing property. You heard it here first. We're going to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should get the whole property community, all the influencers, and do a Christmas. Well, well if you actually show. look at past Baker Street Christmas videos okay. uh, for the last event of the year, we do actually sing a oh, property wow. Christmas song. Oh, wow. Has everyone put their earplugs? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any final message you'd like to say, um, Andrew? I think it, it's about keep changing. Don't stand still. Follow people who've been there and done it before. So at Property with, with Andrew and at Ranjam Property across the social medias is how you'll connect with us or meet us in person down at the Baker Street. They can meet Sean as well because Sean's there every single month. BakerStreetPropertyMeet.com, last week of the month. Well, thank you so much, guys, for coming down. And I know how busy you guys are, and it's been quite a few months like to, to try to get you down. So very pri- privileged to have you on. Um, and for the audience at home, I hope that's brought you a lot of value because Ranjan and Andrew have got years and years of, of experience. There's so many mentors out there, and there's so many, you know, quick money schemes. And let me get you with no money, we'll get you into property. There's so many people out there, and it's um, sometimes it doesn't hit good with me because it's like that's not right if you're desperate and you want to break the cycle and you want to get out then you want to be around the right people and the first thing you've got to see is proof of work for somebody that's been through two recessions and been through so many different cycles these are the real deals who you want to be following so i hope that's really helped you guys don't forget to smash the like button leave us a comment and you if you haven't already watch ranjan bhattacharya's podcast with me and also and um andrew roberts See you on the next one, guys. Peace. Thanks, Sean. Thanks.